Hey, I'm Tyler from Bike Rumor. We're kind of wandering the fence here at Outdoor Demo Interbike 2018, checking out lots of new tires. So we're gonna start at Maxxis with the Velocita AR. This is a brand new tire coming soon from them. It's not out yet. This is their answer to a lightweight, all-road, oversized tire. It's gonna come first in just a 700 by 40. It's a mix of like a super minimalist file tread with a little bit of herringbone on the sides. And they don't have a claimed weight or price yet for it, but this is going to be lightweight with uh, tubeless ready, no real integrated puncture protection, so they can keep it super supple and again, super lightweight. Also coming soon from them is the Rambler, which they've had, but they've got a new size coming in a 700 by 45. So that'll give them, I think, a 700 by 38, 42, and a 45. So you've got a little bit bigger option now in that. Okay, next booth. Now we're over at IRC, and this is a prototype enduro mountain bike tire from them. So last year they were showing off the Boken, which is their gravel tire. That's out now. Coming up soon is the Tankin, and this is their entry back into that full all mountain aggressive enduro segment. It's gonna start out with 27.5 and 29er versions in a 2.6, and then they'll follow up with a 2.4 for both wheel sizes, and then a 2.8 for 27.5. And so you can see it's got pretty aggressive siping, knobs, angles in here on the tread. And when the 2.8 comes out, they'll be, because it's gonna be bigger, they're gonna put smaller series of knobs between that side column and the center column. And look for that coming either late this year or early next. Next up is Continental, and they're not actually launching a new tire here at Interbike, but what they are announcing is that the 2.6 of the new Mountain King, which launched at Sea Otter, is actually shipping now. Came out and started hitting shelves maybe a few weeks ago. So, just a quick refresher. The Mountain King got a total tread redesign, and a lot of their other tires got a complete rebuild. So they're now using a Cordura breaker on the sides to reduce uh, cut or increase cut protection and the reason why they went with Cordura versus some of the other materials a lot of brands use is it's a little more supple so you know whereas some Continentals used to be really really stiff in the past the new tires should be a lot more flexible and help you kind of get traction especially at lower pressures which is really important when you're bumping up to like a 2.6. Next up is Kenda and they've been launching a lot of new tires lately. At Eurobike we saw these two which is the Booster and it is their new cross country tire and it kind of borrows from one of their downhill tires with a super minimal thing except that this is meant for front and rear. And this one is, comes in a 2.2 by 29 and should be about 580 grams. So for more all mountain and trail stuff is the new Regolith. And this one kind of fits in between cross country and the more aggressive enduro downhill tires they launched earlier this year. The Regolith will be available in a 2.2 and a 2.4. This is a 2.4 and should hit somewhere around 700 grams. All right, our next stop is Schwalbe, and there's a lot of new stuff from Schwalbe that's come out over the past uh, eight to 12 months, and we've covered all up in our bike room in detail. So some of the highlights most recently are a new 2.6 in the Magic Mary, and a new 2.35 and some plus sizes in the Hans Dom. So check our Eurobike coverage for all the details on those, because as you can see, there's a lot here. The other thing is these basically moto tires that they came out with called Eddy Current. These are front and rear specific. These are e-bike specific. And I mean, come on, these are moto tires. So. Okay, now we're at the Panaracer booth, and they've got their new Romero, which we did not get a chance to see in person at Eurobike. And so this is their new downhill and enduro kind of all conditions tire. It'll be available along with the other two that I'm going to show you in both 27.5 and 29, in a 2.4 or 2.6. This one will get two different casing options and rubber compounds, so a triple compound or reinforced one for DH, and a dual compound, a little bit more supple one for enduro. So next up is a tire that will kind of the same use case but for softer conditions maybe a little more loamy this is the aliso little bit different tread pattern but uh, some of the same options otherwise and then for faster rolling more XC you know light trail stuff is the driver which is a model they've had for a while it's just getting updated same thing 2.4 2.6 and both wheel sizes uh, kind of more continuous center thing lots of little knobs for biting into that dry hard pack all right, the last tire company out at Outdoor Demo is WTB, and again, they kind of showed all their new stuff at Eurobike and everything, so we're going to look at the Judge real fast. This is their rear-specific downhill enduro tire. It only comes in a 2.4, named both 27.5 and 29er. But what's interesting is, 
They also recently introduced a more aggressive trail boss, which you can see here. And then below that in aggressiveness is the very cross-country oriented Ranger. So if you look at the trend patterns on the two of these, there's kind of a gap. This one gets pretty aggressive, much more aggressive than the prior trail boss. This one is full-on XC with a lower profile knob. So kind of begs the question what's coming next from WTB. I'll give you one guess where it might sit.